Up today we've got three tips for you on what to look for when you're trying to beat a player. Now Silas, Silas is more of a regular football player, he plays a game, you're an academy type situation now aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So he's in an academy type situation now and he's, he, get, he plays a lot of matches, once or twice a week you're playing regularly? Twice a week, regularly. Training? Yeah. Four or five times a week? Yeah, yeah. yeah about four times a week. Five yeah, times. so he's going to give you some of his tips for what he looks to do when he's trying to beat a player. And what position do you usually play? Um, I'm, at the minute I'm playing left wing a lot. Yep. Because um, I like to cut inside and take shots. So but one of your main things is cutting in. Yeah, and cutting in and yeah. trying to get on the Right, so what's your first tip then? What do you look for when you're approaching a player and what you're trying to do? And if you want to yeah. use cues and examples, we'll do that. Well, the first thing what I look for is, um, it's a big one and it's pretty obvious as well, is um, the body language of a defender. So when you're on the wing, uh, most of the time the defender will want to show you out wide because that's away from where the goal is. So will they start, kind of step into yeah. it and then give you the... Yeah, so yeah. we're going to show you down this way because that, that's where they want you to go. So we're going to show you this way and when you dribble down that way, it they're makes gonna, they're going to come and, yeah, and try yeah. and cut you off. So whichever way they're showing you, um, try and cut them up the other way. So if they're going to show me out wide, so my idea is fake, yeah, yeah, yes. Either to fake, so classic like scissor yeah. type fake that you yeah. would do, yeah. So you fake yeah. in and an exit, yeah. Yeah. Any so others that you'd up. use? Any other kind of moves that you use to to fake um, in, like a chop? Or a, chop a chop's a good move, a really good move because a lot of defenders don't expect a player to do a chop. So you're coming out, they're showing you out so, wide. Oh, they're showing you wide, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, chop, I like that. Inside. So great, great tip. So body language is a big important thing. And this, I, I work pre-academy kids as well, and, and this is something we've been working on in defending is trying to show them out wide. A good thing Silas has got inspiration from as well, because he's been playing a lot of street football with myself. He's, he's also learning to read what the defenders do as well, so he's learning to yeah. exit and, yeah. and, and, ch and change it, aren't you? You're changing, changing their body language into situations you want them to be in, rather than the defender yeah. wanting you to be in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. would you Absolutely. say that? Yeah. So, okay, so your second, so we've talked about body language. What would be your tip then? What would be your second tip for like, if you've taken them on quite a few times, you've been successful, they're catching on to what you're doing. What would you, what would you look to do? Would you look to change the variables? Um, you, to... you need to be unpredictable to take a defender on successfully because after the first one or two times of taking the def same defender on, they're gonna start knowing what you're gonna have in your mind. So if you keep doing step overs all the time, we're gonna know where you're gonna go. So if I did one step over that way, I'll cut you out. Yeah, basically. yeah. We're gonna know what you're gonna do. So maybe you'll try instead of taking them on. Maybe you'll pass it a few times. Maybe you'll lay it back a few times. Or maybe you'll try some different skills. Or try and if you're going on the outside all the time, maybe you try coming on the inside. Or if you're going on the inside all the time, maybe try going on the outside. So unpredictable. Try and be as unpredictable as possible because that's how you catch your defenders out. How have you though become unpredictable as a player? Would you say it's through a lot of practice, repetition yeah, it's, practice? And... Um, a lot of different, using a lot of different skills. So rather than your basic step, your basic scissors, your basic step overs, your basic um, inside outsides, um, try and learn different skills. So maybe it's more, you incorporate more street stuff into it. So like your V's, uh, your La Croquettes, um, your, Mar your Maradona roulettes. So yeah, yeah. try and use all different skills. So a lot of practice basically. Yeah. A lot of self-practice, solo yeah. practice on your own and then yeah. a lot of practice in games and just trying things and getting it yeah. wrong. Yeah? Yeah. So what's your third, third tip? And I, well I think I think I know what you're going to say here, but yeah. what, what what's, what's your third one? Um, your third one's a lot a lot to do with your confidence as well. But the main thing is don't be afraid to make a mistake or lose the ball because that's the only way you'll learn. You need to the skills that you learn on the training ground. You need to try them in a match because that's the only way that you'll ever get better at taking defenders on. So if you lose the ball, just go and win it back. So if I get tackled, recover quick and try and yeah. win the ball back. Work hard to get it back as soon as you lose it. 
So um, there's nothing wrong with making a mistake, especially on the final third. It's the best position to lose a ball because you're the furthest away from your goal. So go out and express yourself when you're in that final third. So don't be afraid to lose a ball. I, I think that's an important one, especially for kids that are learning to play the game. Don't be afraid to make the mistakes. You've got to make mistakes to get it right. You're not going to learn a skill in one go, are you? You're yeah. not going to become a master of a skill in one go. You've got to practice it a few times in your garden, in your training space. You've got to practice it then in your training matches, and then you've got to go and practice it in the game. And that's the only way you're going to get good at executing skills. And that's the fundamental thing is practice. And what Silas is basically saying is be confident to practice things in the game as well. If you lose the ball, go back, work hard and win it back. Because that's still showing then that from getting something wrong that you're prepared to learn from that mistake and, and, and you're prepared to fight for the team basically, don't yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. Thanks guys for watching. These were my tips on how to beat a defender. I hope you can incorporate them into your game. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bells to keep up to date with our latest videos. Yeah guys, and don't forget to come back for, don't forget to be back. We, we release videos Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, and sometimes we have special videos on Saturday. So make sure you do hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button.